Caroline, uh, what have you made of, I guess, the, the state of the debate for The Voice? Do you think, like I think, that it has become too nasty and risks alienating mainstream Australians who are uncertain about how to vote? I think so. And the thing we ultimately have to remember here and have to be a bit careful about is the Constitution, you know, it, it, it's the structure of our system. It's about jurisdiction. It's about powers. It's about, you know, it's about those sorts of things. It's 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 meant to be a working document, right? It's meant to help us function. It's not a book of cuddles. This isn't about cuddles. Quit with the emotional blackmail. It is so unhelpful to the discussion. And look, the emotional blackmail doesn't work on me. Jack, I have an Italian mother. I've been dealing with it for years. <laughs> so it goes straight over. I'm totally desensitised. But for other people, you know, they're being made to feel bad that if they disagree, it makes them a bad person. No, no, no. Just deal with the de the debate. Deal with um, the matter on the merits. We should be having a dispassionate discussion about this. The comments made by Noel Pearson in particular about Julian Lisa were just absolutely abysmal. And now... What I would say to that is, well, when we go to vote in a normal election, in a garden variety election, you need to be an Australian citizen. That doesn't mean any of us have a tattoo. That doesn't mean our clothing is adorned. That just says that we are a certain um, group of people who have the right to vote. No doubt in the, in the voice, if there is going to be a right to vote to pick, well, then it has to be clear who has that right to vote and who doesn't. It doesn't extend any further than that. And what I'd really like to know from Narelda Jacobs is, if she, is she going to ask uh, members of the Labor government whether Labor are going to have a con conscience vote? Because we all know the answer, that anyone who disagrees in the Labor Party, they have to keep very quiet, otherwise they get expelled. Well said. Tim Blair, your thoughts? Uh, two thoughts. Um, one, Noel Pearson is one of Australia's greatest orators. His voice is an enormously potent instrument, but he's diminishing it not just mm. with the content of what he's saying, what he's saying, but also in the manner of in which he's uh, presenting things. He's he's becoming. He sounds like sometimes like a teenage girl. He's become an up talker, if you notice, and everything sounds like it's a question. Now this is not the way. This is not the Noel Pearson of, of previous years. So he, he sounds a slightly diminished uh, uh, entity in that regard. Secondly. The left aren't learning here. Whenever the left presents a case for a vote as good versus bad, uh, the Republic vote, the 2016 Trump election, the uh, election, of, I guess, of Morrison in, um, in 2019, uh, the, the left often lose these because people are not inclined to be lectured. As Caroline was pointing out, we're, we're done with, um, with being morally blackmailed, morally and emotionally blackmailed. It's, it perhaps might uh, be the most damaging thing in their attempt to get this uh, this vote up. Well said. Do Australians want to give more power to people that refuse to debate?